Hi there, welcome back to Becoming Me. I am Lee, as always. And it's time we had a chat about privilege. The phrase check your privilege has become sort of prevalent over the past couple of years, especially, especially online. And what it means is important, but it can be difficult to get your head around if you're new to it. So let's get into this just a little bit. Privilege is the thing that you have that you generally didn't ask for, generally couldn't help, you were generally probably just born with it, but it's the thing that you have which gives you an inherent advantage in our society. So if you're white, if you're male, if you're cisgendered, if you have money, if you're straight, all of these things are privileges. We've got our culture set up so that the best possible thing that any of us is supposed to want to be is the straight, white, rich, cisgendered, heterosexual male. And the idea is that you strive to be as much like that guy as you possibly can. And the further away you are from that guy, the lesser a human being you are. If that sounds like complete bullshit, it's because it really is. But it is the way our society is currently set up. I have privilege. I was born white and that gave me a lot of privileges growing up, especially in a very white town, a very white part of a white town. <laughs> but I also have privilege as a trans masculine person um, because when society allows me to pass as male, that gives me male privilege. As a trans masculine person, I don't have all the privileges that cisgendered men have but I certainly have a lot more than for example a transgender woman and an awful lot more than a transgender woman of colour. Put it this way, I very rarely fear for my life when I step outside my front door. That is a privilege that I have that a lot of trans women and trans women of colour do not have. There's been a lot of talk, a lot of harassment happening lately over people over more diversity in culture and in media which is a reflection of our culture there's been a lot of problems there's been a lot of people calling out issues with uh, gender and race and sexual identity and gender identity and class and there's a lot of other people pushing right back and those people that are pushing back tend to be the people that are either in possession of the privilege or have been taught that the privilege is the best thing and believe it. I get it. I get it. When you're used to being the only people that somebody cares about, the only demographic that is catered to, when you see other people being catered to as well and treated as they as if they are just as important, that can be hard because you're not used to it. But here's the thing. Get over it. It's not your fault that you were born with privileges. Sure, no problem. But it is your fault if you continue to exercise them and use them against other people. That's a choice you make. And that's a bad choice. Look, more diversity for other people does not take anything away from you. What you get may look a little different because it includes other people, but it doesn't stop you from getting it and it doesn't take away who you are. Nor does it take away any hard work you may have put in on top of your privileges to get to where you are. And that's really important to understand as well. But there are so many different types of people in this world and most of them have been ignored for so long. To see these people actually being catered to, being recognised as proper human beings as, as people who are just as important as you are. When you're not used to seeing it, it can cause a panic. But the panic is yours. And the issue is yours. And it is up to you to sort that panic out. It's not a zero sum game. Giving more rights to people, treating people better, this helps everybody and it doesn't hurt you. When there are people who are losing their homes, 
their families, their jobs, their lives, people being killed because they are not white cisgendered straight men, then something needs to be done. If that very fact doesn't scare and horrify you, then I don't even know why you're listening to me, because clearly you don't care. If that does horrify you, then brilliant. There is one thing that you can do for me, and that is to go listen to somebody else. Go listen to somebody else who deals with those things. To progress anywhere as a society, as a world, to get anywhere towards peace and understanding and a better society, we need everybody. All those different types of people, all the way across all the spectrums. We need everybody. And it's about time we started showing those people that we need them. 